Hi friends, this is Lauren. Welcome back to the Pear Blossom Press YouTube channel. I'm going to be creating a light up card using a one light from the halo light combo. As you can see, I have a few where I've used the halo lights and need to use my one lights. I have this adorable stamp set called Kawaii Force from CC Designs because it is May the 4th, Star Wars Day, and I wanted to celebrate. I'm also going to be using some pattern paper from the Tomorrow Land paper pad from Social Paper Plan, as well as the frame from the Heffy Doodle Imperial Storyboard Backdrop, backdrop Die. I've got all my Parablossom Press supplies. I do have my stamp set, but I don't end up using it. I will also use the Black Perfect Sentiment cardstock and, of course, the world's best foam tape. Now I did do some prep today. I've stamped, colored, and fussy cut out my adorable penguin Star Wars characters. I think they are just so stinking cute. I cut out the frame from that Heffy Doodle die set out of some sparkly black cardstock. And then I also trimmed down some of the pattern paper from that social paper plan paper pad. Uh, just using the squares uh, from the imperial backdrop storyboard die to trim down to fit behind each of those little slots. So I'm going to add some double-sided adhesive tape. I'm using 1 8 just because sometimes it's a little hard to get that one quarter lined up perfectly. I think it would have fit okay behind the frame but I went with 1 8 behind each of those uh, different lines or strips on the background so my different pieces of pattern paper will fit and adhere to the back of that frame. So I'm just adding the different papers where they fit. I kind of went around with the characters to figure out who I wanted with each background. So I needed a, you know, darker colored pattern for my Darth Vader and Stormtrooper. And then I also wanted kind of the light speed look for my Han Solo and Chewie. And then for Luke, Leia, and Yoda, I just went with some kind of spacey, galactic-y looking paper. And I wanted that blue kind of burst of color for my Luke Skywalker penguin <laughs> because I'm going to make the lightsaber light up and I just wanted it to give more of that lightsabery look behind him. So let's get that one light out as well as the battery so we can figure out where I need to adhere this one light to my card base. So I put the battery in, you slide it in on the crescent shape side of that battery pack. And I'm going to have my lightsaber light up and the button is going to be under my sentiment. So I originally grabbed my Pear Blossom Press stamp set so I could stamp the word push and add that to my card. But you know what? My button's going to be a little hidden. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be where you push on the word force in my sentiment of may the force be with you. So I'm going to emboss it on my black perfect sentiment cardstock. So I have my sentiment in my misty. I'm using a clear in embossing ink to stamp the sentiment and then I'm going to use a detailed white embossing powder on my sentiment. Before I stamped, I did use my Rabbit Hole Designs Cotton Tail Embossing Powder tool to make sure I didn't get a bunch of embossing powder where I didn't want it. I use my heat gun to melt that down, let it, you know, cool down for a second, and then I am going to go ahead and wipe up that excess embossing powder um, or anti-static powder with a Swiffer tool. I was originally thinking that I would just keep my sentiment in a nice strip, so I'm using my little trimmer here to trim my sentiment down and try to make it even, but it just felt too large. So I'm going to grab my little scissors and I'm going to fussy cut a kind of bubbly look around my sentiment so that way it looks like it was kind of just die cut around the sentiment, giving it that just like shadow outline, if that makes sense. And I like that so much more. I feel like it doesn't take away from the background as much. So now that I have my sentiment ready and I know that I want the word force to be the button as it lines up really well with my lightsaber, I'm going to go ahead and get my card base ready because I'm going to adhere my light to my card base. I have a pencil so I can make some marks and I'm going to center my background get my sentiment where I know it needs to be on the card. 
I'm going to use a magnet to hold my card base in place because I sometimes when I do this technique of hovering my pencil where I need it to go and then sliding my paper out of the way, I also move my card base. <laughs> so I'm just using something to help me keep that in place. You could use like a repositionable tape if you don't have a magnetic um, platform or table. Uh, you know, you definitely can just use something to help keep that in place if you're like me and you always end up sliding your paper that you need to make your mark on as well. So now let's work on figuring out where the lightsaber needs to go. So I'm using the stitching detail from my Heffy Doodle die to make sure that my force is right where I need it to be and that way I can make sure my sentiment is lined up um, perfectly every time. So the top of my sentiment is lining up with that stitch detail. I have my one light to get the button under the word force and I'm trying to angle the light so that it will fit behind the lightsaber and then again I'm going to hover my pencil, slide that one light out of the way and then make a mark on the pattern paper. And I have a hole punch. I believe this is about 1 16th in size. I've had this hole punch forever. It was handed down to me, so I don't know the exact size, but it's the tiniest one I have to hole punch that pencil mark that I made. And then I went ahead and used my pencil to mark through the hole onto my background card base. Now I'm going to get some double sided adhesive tape. This time I'm using my quarter inch and I'm putting two strips on the back of my one light and I'll go ahead and remove the backing from my adhesive. I just like to use a pokey tool to help with that. And now I'm going to do my very best to get my one light lined up perfectly with those two marks. So I'm hovering over making sure my light will line up with the hole in my pattern paper and the uh, button will line up where I'm going to adhere my sentiment and the word force and it looks really great So I'm so happy about that I'm going to add my world's best foam tape to the back of my uh, Pattern paper background so I know there's plenty of room to do all four sides So I'll go ahead and just trim and add adhesive or the double-sided adhesive um foam tape to the back and then I added a little bit more around the back that will fit around my one light but also just give this background some stability on my card base. I'm peeling off all of the release paper from my uh, background here and I will go ahead and get this centered onto my card base and once I get that in place, I'll go ahead and press, make sure it looks good. Testing my light, everything is looking great. So we can go ahead and move on to adding all of our elements. So I'm gonna start with my sentiment since um, I wanna make sure I get that in the right spot and lining up the word force with that button. And since I already have a lot of dimension on the card because of the world's best foam tape, you know, having enough room for my one light, I'm using a very thin foam adhesive. This is a one millimeter thick foam adhesive strip from scrapbook.com. And I'll also use some foam squares, one millimeter from them as well to attach all my cute little Star Wars characters. So my sentiment is in place. Again, I lined up the top of my sentiment with the stitching detail of that die to make sure the word force was lined up with the button. I'm adding foam adhesive behind all of my characters and I'm just going to quickly jump through adding them in. So I have my Darth Vader and my Stormtrooper um, on my darker patterned paper. Next I have my favorite duo. Again I wanted that to have like a hyperspace vibe like they're um, you know going into hyperspace so Chewie and Han Solo. I have Princess Leia on the right and Yoda on the left. Yoda was looking towards the right so I wanted him on the left to keep my scene kind of focused onto the card. And then I added foam squares behind my Luke and I added the teeny tiniest little foam at the very tip top of my lightsaber to make sure it doesn't get caught on anything and tear. And then I lined it up so the lightsaber covered the hole so you don't see the opening for my one light. But when you press on the word force, you will see that lightsaber light up and I love it so much. I think it's so adorable. These little stamps are so cute and this card was so easy to put together with the help of the pattern paper.
But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you have a fun Star Wars day today. You can find my list of supplies down below in the description, including everything you can get from the Pear Blossom Press shop. Here are some more inspiration videos. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you're new here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!